In this video, I want to um, talk about how it's important to uh, acknowledge the role uh, played by our past in history in order to understand the future and as well to act effectively in the future and the present. So um, one of the examples I could use is surely the solidarity that exists between Irish and Palestinians. Um, for one, because when the PLO was, uh, you know, the number one supported uh, organization in the 80s or so, Gaddafi sent uh, the IRA quite a bit of nice things, if you know what I mean. And so there's many songs, if you look up like Irish Palestinian song, there's many in Irish uh, language as well. Uh, it's always been solidarity because uh, we had in 81 Bobby Sands and all that and Francis Hughes and uh, the 10 hunger strikers who died and the uh, Palestinians had a guy named Hader Adnan who recently went on hunger strike because he was detained without cause. Uh, they did not tell him why they detained him. He had six uh, children, by the way. He has six kids, a wife. They detained him and he went on hunger strike. And about five months ago, due to the fact that nobody values human life very much if you're not white, or whatever the reason is, he, he was uh, let die. Uh, so I think society at large bears responsibility when it comes to things where we can intervene because we live in the West and uh, we have a little bit more free speech than people in like China, but it's eroding and it's only there because some people used it. The small victories we've won, like the eight hour workday, were won through violent struggle as well. But that's a topic for another video. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. This is Las Armas and have a great day. Have a great night. Uh, peace. Also another topic which I uh, forgot to bring up. I'm, I'm just restarting recording again um, because I, I realized I'd forgotten uh, to mention this. And it's that uh, when the status quo is uh, set by us, perhaps. Like, as one guy famously said, um, let me set the terms of peace and we can have it. Uh, when the status quo is upheld by people who really show no love for anyone that's not on their side of like a football team looking like they're cheering on death, which is morbid in itself, and doesn't merit even mentioning, except to point out their inhumanity, uh, the fact that they are uh, in the process of being uh, indoctrinated as Goebbels did, uh, telling his people that people were, hey, I'm not gonna say, because I've got already one time banned for talking the truth, so I don't need that again. And uh, since nobody will speak up for me, then I have to deal with it. That's how it goes. So like when the terms of peace are set by someone who is able to dictate them uh, and they would line up with like what we need, 99% of us agree that there's certain things we can agree on and form a consensus from which we can build a lot more and a lot better things. That's all I wanna say. And um, yeah, uh, it sucks not being able to have free speech because I remember a time when I could uh, speak about things in a relatively uh, dispassionate manner and not be punished. But yeah, you guys have a great day and uh, like, subscribe and share if you can, thanks.